Fight Sim fans, Sim Fanatic with you. Thought of posting uh, some more videos, haven't been really good about posting them, but uh, getting more into um, helping the community. I've been a flight simmer for, oh, since I was probably eight years old. Um, I remember back in the Commodore days and in, in Sublogic, for those of you that remember that, and the start of uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator and X-Plane all the way back to when it started. Um, and uh, really have found that the internet and YouTube and, and other sources have been uh, really helpful to me as an individual. So I kind of want to pass that forward, share that, um, and uh, start doing some more content here. And so I uh, thought about having a tips and tricks, um, you know, category and, 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 you know, providing some of those things that I found helpful that uh, hopefully many of you will find as well. And I thought to start with, why not use one of the best uh, new programs, uh, simulators out there? We know as, as sim fans, we don't call them games, right? We call them simulators because they are. They're simulators. They're simulating what, you know, is, is out there. I am a pilot, actually, and, and um, not for a profession. I do have my private pilot's license. And so I just, anything aircraft, I just, yeah, anything aviation, love it. So anyway, to start off with, Microsoft Flight Simulator, wonderful product. Um, it has a ways to go, you know, in development. I really like where Microsoft and Asobo, are, what they're doing. I was an alpha. I was fortunate to be an alpha tester um, before it was it, it, was, it went uh, full production. It's still got a long ways to go. But I, what I really like about what Asobo is doing is they're taking user feedback, community feedback, and they're really improving the program and uh, the simulator as a whole. And uh, it's going to continue to develop. Uh, I do play X-Plane as well. I think there's a place for both of them to be um, on your hard drive if you have both. Um, I use Microsoft Flight Simulator for all my VFR flight flights. I use, uh, <laughs> I really use X-Plane for all of my commercial aviation and IFR uh, approach and um, departures and all those fixes. I use it for that. So I think there's a place for both of them right now. Uh, but I have no doubt that Microsoft and Asobo Studios will get there and uh, will be uh, on the flight models and the IFR. They'll keep improving those. Um, X-Plane does have an advantage on the flight models, but as third-party developers for these um, aircraft you know, um, develops aircraft for Microsoft Flight Simulator. And there are some um, aircraft that I have purchased that I might do some reviews on later. Um, I think they, I think they'll get there, but uh, X-Plane does a better job right now, uh, flight models. I think it's just because the aircraft are more seasoned, but Asobo's going to get there and they're probably going to pass uh, X-Plane at some point, possibly. Maybe not, um, but we'll see. But anyway, don't want to get into a debate of which flight simulator is better, which one's worse. I think there's a place for both of them. I think they're both great products, um, but I am super excited about Microsoft Flight Simulator being back and Asobo doing it. I think they're doing all the right things and uh, looking forward to it continue to develop and enhance and be just, you know, that this next generation of flight simulator. Uh, so anyway, with that being said, one of the things that I noticed though with Microsoft Flight Simulator is when I'd come into approach and do a landing, when I would go to flare, I'd see like the center lines would all become fuzzy and blurry. And as you can see, if we look down the nose of the aircraft right now, it's fuzzy and blurry. So I want to show you as a first tip uh, and how to fix that. And it's really easy. You may know about it already, but if, for those of you that don't, it's just a real easy setting in your graphic settings that you can change. We'll go through that really quick here. Um, and uh, it doesn't really have a whole lot of uh, frame rate, uh, uh, you know, degradation, at least for my system. I'm running an NVIDIA 1080 graphics card, uh, i7 7700K. So nothing like, I mean, my computer is over three years old. So it's, um, it, it's nothing like spectacular. Uh, but uh, as you can see, um, I don't know if you can see this in video, but I've got 48 frames per second right now. So to change the setting, to you want to sharpen that center line up. And what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to go into drone view. And let's take a look at that. We'll go to the front of the plane and then we'll go up. And as we notice, if we gain altitude, they're, they're clearer, they're sharper. But as we get closer to the ground, that distance that drawing and that uh, clarity, that sharpness of the center line, you can see it really gets fuzzy. Um, and there's reasons for that. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of systems that can help uh, improve uh, frame rates. But uh, this might be something that you want to try. It may help you and not really have much of a hit on your frame rate. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we do that. So all you got to do is hit Escape, click on General. It'll be on the Graphics uh, section. Just scroll down until you see Texture Super Sampling. 
And that's what you want to change. And you can see the description over on the on the right here it says adjust the quality. Um, go back to the right spot here. Adjust the quality of super sample key materials such as floor markings. Higher values will improve visual quality but may affect performance. So that sounds sounds like what we want, right? So these go by two uh, by two in increments. So it'll be two by two, four by four, six by six, and eight by eight. What I'd recommend is that you do you you start off and step and see how do one at a time and see how it impacts the performance because all of our computers are different. So I'm going to start with two by two, hit apply and save, and we'll go back and resume. And we should see now this this center line, even the second, they look a little clearer. And we're still kind of fuzzy off at the distance, right? That third and fourth center line, still pretty blurry off in the distance. So it did improve. It did help. I didn't get a hit really on the frames at all. Um, so I'll go back in and we'll try four by four. So we'll just jump that up to four by four, hit apply and save. We'll go back and resume. And of course, there's a plane that, that flew in to our view path. Thank you, buddy. But uh, he's fine. Now we can actually see off into the distance. We've got uh, one, two, three, four. I can actually make those out off in the distance. And actually, we'll go ahead and, and come up here. And notice that's very, very well defined now, better than before. But even so, if we go down here, still kind of blurry, still a little bit blurry. So let's try six by six. Again, my frame rates haven't been impacted that much, if at all. And I'm going to go to texture super sampling, go six by six, apply and save. We go back. Now we're really crisp. Now we, now I think we've found a good spot. Um, again, my frame rates haven't really been impacted at all. And I am seeing a lot more clarity. Let's go back into the cockpit. Now from flaring, I can actually see the center line there. So that that's looking really good. And let's just try for the sake of being thorough, we'll try eight by eight. Now this is the highest you can go um, with the simulator. And boy, you can see all the way to the threshold, um, all the way down the center line there. That looks beautiful. Um, again, my frame rates really aren't being impacted at all from this. Now I am at Key West, so keep that in mind. I do have the payware. Um, so, you know, I'm out in the middle of the basically ocean almost, you know, the Keys of Florida. So um, not a lot of density, um, you know, not a lot of buildings in that. So do keep that in mind when you um, are doing any graphic settings for that matter. If you're upping them, you're like, oh, I don't have much of a hit. I can just throw max them out. Keep in mind when you're flying, where your destination is or where your um, departure is, you want to keep that in mind because you might have to adjust the graphic settings. Um, I do need to try this out. I've done it four by four has been kind of my sweet spots so when I go to like Seattle or I go to JFK or some of the more heavily populated areas with more buildings and structures and things like that. Um, it, it, it does start impacting performance, but I find that my sweet spot for the settings and others is about f uh, four by four um, for, for, uh, for the texture filter, uh, texture sampling here. So anyway, um, so we'll go back to the cockpit and we can see, yep, looks really good all the way down there. Let's go up a little bit so we can see, but as you can see, this is really, really improved. Now, just to show you, I'm going to go ahead and turn it back off so we can see the full impact here. And we go back, and it just looks horrible. I mean, you can't even basically tell any of the center lines from, from that point. So, again, I found that for me, 4x4, um, 6x6 four four, six six is, is a, good, um, a good setting. But do try it yourself. Um, you know, see how it impacts your system uh, for what you have. Maybe you have a, a better computer than I do. Probably a lot of you do. You'll be able to get away with 8x8 more than likely. Um, some of you may have the same computer that I do, processor, and, uh, you know, for GPU and CPU, maybe you find that 4x4 works best for you. And then those of you that have maybe older hardware, not quite as good a graphics card, maybe maybe 2x2 two two would still work for you. It may, you may find that you can't, you know, it, it's not worth the trade-off. But uh, in any case, hopefully you found this tip uh, useful. Uh, 
please uh, thumbs up if you have. Um, and if you want to subscribe, that'll be great. I do plan on posting more tips and tricks and other videos, some software reviews. I've got several payware, um, scenery, uh, airports and that for Microsoft Flight Simulator, um, as well as x -Plane. I do plan on uh, posting some of the uh, more recent um, releases um, about Microsoft Flight Simulator and some of the scenery enhancements on here soon. So uh, feel free to subscribe. But, uh, but in any case, uh, I do appreciate you stopping by and checking out this tip. Take care.